solve some problems on torsion. Here I am marking the first question. Let's read what is given here. A circular solid steel solid shaft transmits 300 kilowatts at 250 rpm. Full stop. Permissible shear stress is 30 newton per mm square and angle of twist 1 degree in a length of 2 meters. Determine diameter of shaft. Take capital G that is modulus of rigidity is equal to 1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square. This is the question which we have. Now let us write the data for this question. Here it is given that we have a circular solid shaft which transmits 300 kilowatts. So power is given. 300 kilowatts. So we have to convert it into watts by multiplying it by 10 raised to 3. RPM is 250. So here I have speed is equal to 250 RPM. Permissible shear stress is 30 Fs. 30 Newton per mm square. And angle of twist is 1 degree. So theta is 1 degree. We can convert it into radians. So it is pi by 180 radian. In a length of 2 meters, the length is 2 meter which is equal to 2000 mm. Determine the diameter of shaft. So here we have to calculate how much is the diameter of the solid shaft. Take G is equal to modulus of rigidity. It is 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per millimeter square. So this is the question which we have. Now let us try to solve this problem. Since in this question power is given, so I would be using the equation or formula for power and try to get the torque value first. So let us write the formula. I will say that solution. Since power transmitted by shaft is given by the formula is P is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60 therefore T is equal to P into 60 divided by 2 pi n power is given as 300 into 10 raised to 3 into 60 divided by 2 pi into n which is 250. So if I calculate here I will be getting the value of torque which comes out to be 11.46 into 10 raised to 3 newton meter which I can convert into 11.46 into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm. So this is the value of torque which I am getting. Now the problem is I have to calculate the diameter of solid shaft. So for that I would be using two criteria. First strength criteria and the second one rigidity criteria. So based on strength criteria, we know the equation is given by T upon J is equal to Fs by R Therefore, T value we have just now calculated it is 11.46 into 10 raised to 6 J is pi by 32 diameter raised to 4 for solid shaft. Fs shear stress is given in the problem as 30 and R is equal to diameter divided by 2. So here if we see 
from left hand side and right hand side d and d will get cancelled so here i can write this as therefore d cube will be equal to this d cube shifts on the other side and 30 will come into the denominator so here i have 11.46 into 10 raised to 6 divided by pi by 16 into 30 so from this if i calculate numerator upon denominator and take the cube root of the answer i would be getting d which comes out to be 124.83 mm i'll call this as my equation number one now as i have used strength criteria now i will be using the rigidity criteria so based on rigidity criteria i have the formula t by j is equal to g theta by l The value of t it is 11.46 into 10 raised to 6 j is pi by 32 d raised to 4 for solid shaft the value of g is given in the question <coughs> g is 1 into 10 raised to 5 theta is 1 degree so it is pi by 180 radian divided by the length of shaft which is 2000 mm so from this if i calculate all the terms first i would be getting d raised to 4 answer the value of d raised to 4 comes out to be it is 13 point zero nine seven into ten raised to six and if i take the square root twice i will be getting the answer of d which in this case it is one zero seven point five mm i'll call this as my second equation now if i compare equation number one in which the diameter was 124.83 mm equation number two in which the diameter is 107.5 mm so out of this i am getting the diameter by strength criteria as more so we have to select the greater diameter because if we are selecting the greater value for the diameter area increases and stress value will go on decreasing so here 124.83 mm will be my final answer for the diameter of the shaft so here we would be using a shaft which is solid having its diameter as 124.83 mm so with this we complete this question